Hello and welcome to Mystic Ashram Tarot. Um, we're doing the PDQ Tarot deck series, which is supposed to be pretty darn quick. And this is the Q&E Tarot deck from US Game Systems. Tonight we have uh, the information for cancers and to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here for you, Cancer, is uh, we have the Seven of Wands. So you've been on the dis defensive. You've uh, felt really under pressure by authority. Um, and uh, you should be defensive at this time. Take action. Um, you might seem to think that you're being too aggressive, but you're not. Uh, it's gonna, um, people are competing for your energy and your resources. So um, seizing those opportunities, standing up for yourself and your ideas. There's the man with the wand standing up for his ideas. So um, here we have the nine of swords. So this is, the the Nine of Swords in reverse, actually. And it means that no more sleepless nights crying. Um, but it, it does uh, appear things are going well. But there is some sort of scandal. Um, and you enter a world of very high stakes players here who are playing real hard ball. And um, it's not for the weak or cautious, so you've been staying on this uh, kind of self-destructive running around path. And what the other cards are saying is um, that uh, by running around trying to gather coin, uh, you're, you're um, emotionally needing to recharge. So in the secret position, we have a man, the hermit, uh, who is symbolic of you looking for the answers to life's problems, um, to withdraw, get some rest, having some peace, making decisions very cautiously on the cautious side of things. Um, it also means that you're about to meet somebody very significant in your life who will defend, inspire, or protect you in some form. And uh, you're probably t on a retreat or going to take a vacation or sabbatical at some point soon. Uh, it says, follow your heart, not the crowd. So right now, being an introvert seems good for you, Cancer. Um, in the Eight of Cups, we have in your headspace a lot of disappointment, dissatisfaction. Uh, you've been tired of your current situation for a while. You have a bad attitude at some times. Um, you want to leave your current relationship or your job. You want to uh, branch out into traveling or relocating somewhere for a while. Um, maybe a retreat. Uh, some sort of spiritual retreat center. Look elsewhere for happiness. Make dramatic changes in your life. Carry through with plans. So this is a person, woo, a person who, just like the card just did, uh, has gotten out of there. He's walking away in the moonlight. And, and and because it's at night in the moonlight, there has been some sort of deception. There, there's been some cloudiness. There's been maybe this is a long-standing problem you've tried to avoid. And now you finally get an opportunity to hit the trail and get it out of your head through going walkabout. Now, in the earth spot, we have this king of wands right here. And it says, signifies a man over 40, controlling, overbearing, quick to anger in interpersonal relationships and at work, judgmental, intolerant of others' lifestyles and opinions, ignorant 
Um, close to new ideas, prefers to maintain the status quo, prejudiced and rigid. This person creates conflict and unhappiness for you. So while I'm trying to keep this very, very short, what I'm getting is that this is either a male father figure who is someone you're trying to take care of and resents it, um, or this is somebody who is a boss, a an important purse string holder, or someone who oversees your work and appraises it in some fashion, and that they are a very difficult person to deal with sometimes, and it just need, means you need to take a bath, uh, you know, wash it off, uh, commune with the water, uh, you know, or escape to a retreat or intentionally leave your phone off. Um, whatever it takes for you, Cancer, to establish your boundaries again. Now, in the future, we have this amazing Empress card. There it is, the Empress. There she is in all her fertile glory. Now, she symbolizes creativity, personal growth, and self-development. And in this, success brings freedom, material comfort, security, and protection. So you're about to truly enjoy maybe what you've had for a while, Cancer, because as a Cancerian, you know how to take care of your needs and the needs of others very well. But maybe you haven't enjoyed the fruits of your labor entirely. Maybe... Maybe you've grown dissatisfied under certain rigid pressures from authority figures. So it says you spend too much time indoors and you need to get out more into nature. It also says that wealth might have separated you from roots and a sense of self. Um, so getting back into a touchstone with what uh, you desired when you were young. Um you spend too much time indoors. Uh, we already did that. Sexual pleasure, fertility, uh, excellent physical condition and health. So loving relationship with mother and child. Nurturing others. Getting back to your nurturing, nature loving, helpful, uh, contented, uh, healthy self cancer. This is going to bring great new growth, great new creativity. It's a lot better than having to leave under the shadow of the moon. Uh, the, the goddess is, or empress is definitely somebody who, who worships the moon. So this is the Ten of Wands. And it is, life is a constant battle. You never seem to get a break. Your heart is heavy. This is a man you who has carried a lot of wands and you might have done this for years cancer you might have carried this burden for years and recently you've been like I don't know if it's been worth it I don't know where it's going it's just a lot of hard work I need to relax so it suggests that um you doubt your own self-worth, you are overextended and overcommitted, you will be tested, no rest from your burdens, your responsibilities are suffocating you, look for new creative solutions to problems, which means delegate authority, and make changes in your life. So that's in your emotional space. Now with regard to others, guard your possessions, what you've worked hard for. This is the Four of Pentacles which usually denotes miserliness, but also charitability, uh, having resources to guard, but it's in the reverse. And it is about someone trying to separate you from your money, possible theft or embezzlement, lack of control over events and circumstances, change swirls around you, and will happen whether you like it or not. Poor chances for promotion. Someone may cheat you out of payment for a service. So um, be very careful with the contracts initiated at this time, Cancer, for money. But also, 
you you've might have made some financial mistakes recently with regard to you you did the work first and then they said well I'm only going to pay you part of what I promised or you worked for years to build something and then like part of it it's just not going anywhere it doesn't seem active and you're receiving a lot of pressure because it hasn't taken off the way you expected um, now in the expecting the future part we have the king of swords and this is definitely somebody who's in the air triplicity uh so libras gemini's aquarians okay gemini's libras aquarians uh this is a man over 40 he usually conceals his emotions he doesn't like small talk sharp intellect in the analytical organized abrupt and judgmental natural leadership ability highly ethical speaks with authority good instincts and common sense great ideas high moral standards so this is somebody who's really great to do business with you would do business with them all the time if you could and uh maybe you just don't have that luxury right now you you need to keep your options varied and your your pathways open now in the conclusion we had three minor or three major arcanas all come out by them together as a set and then we had these two which which concluded now this four of cups is that you will be increasingly dissatisfied um with something and uh you're just emotionally exhausted you need something more um you have a loss of interest in the normal stuff you were enjoying before uh maybe you're a little self-absorbed right now in that and if you just added some variety to your daily existence that would snap you out of the depression uh, you must take action if you're going to find the answer to happiness so it, it says that there's something that you're lacking that's being shown to you that's a gift from heaven and that you're just ignoring it and paying more attention to these three disappointments than anything else so then we have the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles can be a person who's young but it's usually a message it's particularly like the internet this represents the god mercury so that has to do with communications and the page of pentacles particularly with pentacles it's an earth sign though so it's going to be along the lines of virgo virgo associates with both mercury and it's an earth sign so uh that works but um capricorn and taurus we're not leaving you out now this is somebody who is high spirited engaging optimistic they make friends really easily it seems like sociable charming intelligent educated good common sense loyal honest trustworthy thinks before he speaks this person trusts you and looks out for your best interests uh he will have an effect on your life so that's interesting that's that's a a message which is is currently not being seen and then these three interesting cards came out cancer these are the magician the high priestess and the lovers there you go we we've got this triplicity for you in july congratulations and and these came out all together all at once just ta-da and the magician is you're well suited for business science and high-tech fields you're a risk taker and overachiever highly organized tremendous powers of concentration you are flexible and creative determination and the strength of personality will overcome problems take charge take action and this is a card of personal power so you're in your power then there's the high priestess which is really interesting right now uh considering this retreat spiritual um travel uh re restoration of abilities um 
inner peace and strength, you will be preoccupied. A passive reaction is best. Let others overreact while you remain calm and sure of outcome. The answers to all your questions are already inside you. Tap into your gut feelings. A mysterious and desirable yet unattainable woman may enter your life. So that's interesting also. And then the lovers. ta The lovers. And it is about physical beauty, a beautiful soul, the beginning of a romance, temptation, attraction, sexuality, lust, and love. In order for a relationship to work, you must leave your parents. So I guess that goes for all ages these days. Represents a period of good times, close friendships, and adventures. An important decision must be made. Oh my goodness. So you've you've got a, a booming social life going on, Cancer. You're, you've got great times coming in, good times. All right, you, so there is all of that really interesting stuff. Um, the beginning, this is the beginning of a, a great enterprise, a uh, message about a great enterprise is what I'm getting there. And a wish fulfillment. Like there's something that's right behind your shoulder and and it's tapping you on the shoulder right now. So, okay, I hope you will look for my love readings, Cancer. And uh, because you've got so much spirituality and creativity and just, you know, exciting new adventures coming up. Here is for your past life. And your past life is a picture of Acoma Pueblo. And it's communal living. Yay. Communal living. I don't know if that's Acoma now that I look at it. But it's one of the Pueblos. Uh, it's probably Taos. Something like that. Okay. So this is communal living. And it, it's part of why you're such a nurturing soul. And so real quick, how does this play in with the month of July for Cancer? It says, the lifetime significant to your question involved in a communal setting, such as a convent, a monastery, or a tribe. So if you're part of a giant organization that's huge, like a corporation or you know, anything, high, higher education or government or all of these things, this might be part of it, Cancer, is that you've had many past lives in this communal setting. So a convent, a monastery, or a tribe, and these are places where there is usually a very fixed protocol for everything that's done. So if you're not real into authority, that can be a little stressful and uh, hyper, uh, what's the, claustrophobic, claustrophobic uh, sometimes. Uh, your earthly needs for shelter, clothing, and food were provided for. Although you held a job within the community, you fulfilled your responsibilities for the group and not individual gain. In your current lifetime, you may feel troubled by the concept of money, individual earnings, savings, and bills. You may feel unsupported because your soul is accustomed to having a community support system. To assimilate in this lifetime, find the balance and harmony between individual and group needs, between give and take. Understand how you fit into the culture and how the group can help you achieve your individual goals and aspirations and further your spiritual growth. And remember, no man or woman is an island. Wow, that's incredible, Cancer. I am so happy for you because this this is, I'm getting, this is past life connections in a very native 
and communal way, that there's ways of barter, there's ways of getting grants and scholarships, there's ways of of proposing things for, you know, um, worthy causes. There are, and that you have that support, you have that karma which has been built up and and now you it's an equal exchange even even if it's not about getting paid there's some sort of equal exchange that you realize not everything is commodified needs to be commodified not everything is capitalistic and you seeing beyond that capitalism means you understand very very good investments very worthwhile things when other people don't see anything cancer so you know all the secrets of the moon don't you so all right i hope this helps keep an eye out for that reading it's coming up and i'm getting goosebumps so many blessings if you want any kind of information about supporting and making sure i stay on air it's down there and thank you so much and take care much love and blessings. Satna. For Dudham Carr Finley, Mystic Ashram, signing off.